Good morning, Libra. Good morning, Merry Monday. This is the Monday after the full moon in Pisces, and it was lit, okay? It was lit. I am Niamh Shali. Welcome to my Libra channel. I am a spiritual teacher. I read energetically, intuitively, and spiritually. I also study planetary alignments to help those that are led to my channel understand the energies that we're in. If you are under the age of 18, please go ahead and click out because I do use profanity. If you are offended, easily go ahead and click off because I do curse. I want to thank each and every last one of my subscribers. Thank you, loves. I want to thank every subscriber that donated to the channel. Thank you, toots. And I also want to thank everyone, especially the ones who commented and liked the video. If you get anything from the video, you take anything and you use it per life, per your life, please at least give an energetic like. Okay? All right, let's get started. I did the pool. You can go look at the short. Um, first card to come out was transformation. Let me take a sip because I know you ain't come here to listen to me sip, but um, y'all know, like, okay, so since I'm sipping, let me tell you what's in it. It says juniper berries, fennel seed, rosemary, bay leaf, and cayenne pepper. I love. All right. First card to come out of this transformation, I did um, bookmark this the meaning for this so i can read it to you all oh my god that's a beautiful card um transformation that is the energies that we are in right now the energies we're in right now is like is transformation you might be feeling tired your body might be doing weird things that that seems off kill for you you may be sleeping more you may be um like I said, tired, feeling drained, will understand that the body will automatically feed itself and sleep to heal itself. So you might be feeling, oh man, am I coming down with something? Am I, am I sick or am I getting sick? These downloads have absolutely nothing with what you want to do. You are getting cosmic downloads. And so, if it's coming in too fast for your human body, you will feel tired, sleepy, that kind of thing, eating more, way more than you usually do. And so, I just say at these times, don't worry about any of that. Just drink more, drink more water, um, hydrate yourself um, because you're getting downloads. Um, this is a a shift that we're going through. The energies that you feel on the planet right now is like never before. So I'm I'm um pulling I pulled from the worker light oracle. Um okay. Uh, this is the first time that I'm reading this card. That's the first time I pulled that card. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. Things are changing. You are not who you were a year ago or who you will soon be. You are between emerging, half risen, half falling. Wow. Keep doing the work. You are transforming. You will look back at this time with awe. So much is happening in your inner world and within your cells. It's time to release all ways of being that have kept you in a fight, flight, freeze mode. To choose a new way of being where trauma is not the driving force. Ooh. That just takes me back to a read when I said we were taught away. I always say that. We were taught away. And we were we were taught in a fear-based, like if I don't do this, if I if I hold off on that, that I won't get the results that, and it's always putting your hands on something. It's always, 
I have to do this. It's always action based. And it's like, that's not even what we were put here for. When you realize the candle is popping as I said that. Okay, spirit. Um, we, we were just, we're driven in a patriarchal world and this is just what we've been taught. But God's spirit source, the universe, the divine is, is, is switching it all up. And that's what you see. And that's what you've seen over the last two years. And if you're like in a mode where you don't understand, you don't even have to understand. But I, I know that Libra has been feeling this because we're on the same even if we're not on the same frequency, we're in the same astrological sign. And so I'm here to hopefully give you um, a word of confirmation as in maybe you heard this somewhere before or you've been feeling like this. Um, so the next card to come out was New Moon and Aries. And the, the message on that card is go for it. Yep. Love these cards as well. These cards are the Moonology Manifestation cards. And so um, Libra Man Manifestation Day is um, Friday. So if you're looking to manifest, you want to use your energy, your powers, um, look for to do that on Friday. Believe me, you can manifest on any day, but you, you'll be in, it basically is stating like when Libra will be in its uh, highest vibration day. And it makes sense. It makes sense. So the importance of um, this Aries card is that Jupiter is in Aries. And I've been telling my collective, my Libras, that, um, to be in a me, me, me mode. Now, I've been saying this because Libra is, you know, people pleasing, non-confrontational, you know, um, don't want to ruffle the scene. Fuck that. This is me, 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 me. Energy. And then where I say why Aries plays a big role in it is because... Um, Jupiter is in Aries and Jupiter Jupiter is about dispersing you know so it's basically the message like okay Libra what you want and don't give more of yourself don't well don't lose yourself to a relationship don't and not just and when I say relationship I mean ships with an S, um, friendship, relationship, ownership, you know, you don't lose yourself to those things. Um, friends pay attention to them because I got, it's a lot of, um, breakup energy and it's just because Uranus is in Taurus. Taurus, it would like to stay and, and so and so those energies is what you're feeling. Taurus would love to stay in one spot. Just right here. I'm cool. Leave me alone. I got everything. Well, it's Uranus, Uranus is in Taurus. And it's going to be there for a while. So, you know, that's Earth energy. That's why you see all this stuff going on in the Earth realm. But it's all right. So, um, go for it. What's Aries? And... Was that all I had to say? Yeah, I just want to let you let you know that Jupiter is in Aries right now. And it's basically, remember who you are. Remember who you are. You are not just who you are as in yourself, your mind, your heart. Not, not just that, but remember Libra is Empress. Libra was born on the throne. Libra is born empress. Libra rules, runs the zodiac. And if you're new here, you know how I get down. 
Libra run the zodiac because, well, if you're new here, you don't know how I get down. Here it goes. Libra runs the zodiac because any conversation, any book, any paragraph, any thing asking how to straighten your life, how to work it out, how to, it's going to say, you have to have balance. You're right. And Libra provides that. That's the reason why Mar, the only planets in this astrological orbit is Libra, Mars, and Mercury. That's the reason why. Because Mercury being the communicator to the gods, Mer Mercury being like a yo-yo, Mercury being like, imagine like Mercury is on a leash back to the sun. So come close to Earth and go back to the power source. Comes close to Earth, goes back to the power source. So right now what's happening is Mercury is going in retrograde back to the sun, back to the gods, back to the source, but it's in Libra. Perfect. Mercury who? What kind of what, what kind of retrograde? Uh-huh. The most it do for me is make me stutter. That's it. Anything else? I got that. Cause because when it comes back, it's gonna be in Virgo. So Libra is this is what I want, and Virgo is how do you get it? Aha! Aha! Yes. Okay. So enough of that. Hope you pick that up because understand this is a time of downloads that you have nothing to do with. Is no either you can accept the downloads or you can feel off kilter because that's all it's going to do is make you feel off kilter if you're not accepting the downloads and you're not surrendering to source. Okay. Um, the first cards that come out from this deck is I Am Forgiveness. I love, I love this deck. Oh, this, I call her Mirror Mirror. Yes, I Am Forgiveness. Now, we are going, I'm going to set this here so you can look at it. I'm going to take these down. Look at that car. Look at that car. Who hair like that? If you got your hair that color or that cut, let me know. That is too cute. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to read this. And I didn't mark it off because these are numbered. When I say I love this deck and guidebook. All right. Ooh, there is no sense in punishing your future for the mistakes of your past. Mm, good quote by um, someone named uh, Melanie. I can't pronounce the last name, so I'm going to go ahead and skip on that. Thank you. Forgiveness is a way to set yourself free. It does not mean you have to give anyone another chance or... It doesn't mean what they did is okay. It's simply releasing the anger and the time oil. It has caused you, it has caused you, and moving on from the experience. Sometimes we don't even realize that we have resentment built up from something that happened many years ago. Forgiveness is a superpower. Ooh. We, <clears throat> forgiveness is a superpower we possess. But sometimes it takes time and effort to uncover that superpower. It isn't an easy thing to do. But when we find the power, it can provide us with healing and closure. Man. There, okay, so I'm going to read this, even though that was the end of that paragraph. I, I want to read this so that um, I had a comment in the last video that said, that that person was, they were trying to forgive somebody and it was really, and it was, it was hard for them. And I just want to say there are different ways. I want to read this part so that 
we can learn this together. Because I, I did. I had to work on forgiving. Um, I mean, because I used to like, like, I'm the person that like scrape people head on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to be that person that would like slap the shit at you. You know what I'm saying? So it was like I had to go from that person to this person. Okay. There are different ways to work on forgiveness, such as meditation, journaling, tapping. I've tried that. Tapping works. Um, hypnotherapy, just to name a few. Emotional pain and resentment can often create a block in our life that keeps us from moving forward. It can affect us, not only mentally, but physically. That is true. When you hold on to things, when you hold on two things. I swear. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the story time. Shit, we chilling. Um, this was early on in life and I was stressing about something unbeknownst to me because what does Libra do? Everything is fine, but my body was not having it. My body was like, nope. So I had this pain in my back and I went to go like get it looked at because that's how bad it was bothering me that I had to go to, I think I went to like urgent care or something. It was bothering me that much. Much I couldn't sleep because of the pain. And when I did all this battle test, it was like, there's nothing wrong with you. You must be stressing. And I'm like, get out of here. I didn't know that the body can do that. But I was really young. So now I know my triggers and I know um, how to work them out. You know, even if it's like a therapist going to see somebody talking it out, um, I would not recommend talking to friends about it. And that's just me because friends don't understand friends. Well, I'll say my my old circle of friends was just about chatter. It was just unnecessary chatter when I look at it at the end of the day. And it was like, you know, chatter, gossip, celeb talk, you know, I'm like, and I would be so out of place because I'm, I don't know nothing about that. Like, you know, leave, leave it like celebrity who I don't give a damn about. Like I'm over here doing my own thing. So, you know, um, next one to come out is I can change my thoughts. And I love this one. I love this. This is all I talk about. I talk about how to change your thought process, how to change that lack mind, change that stuck, stagnant mind that thinks one particular way and refuses. And, and, and that's really not a, it's really not a problem for Libra. But if you're, I just look at my life three years ago. And how I was, um, you know, always getting better, but still hanging on to old thought processes, you know, old belief systems and things like that. So, I'm going to sit this one. I re remember, if anybody got their hair this color, let me know. Y'all know. I, mm. <laughs> if anybody got a fro, let me know. Put it in the comments. Let me know. It says, I can change my thoughts. Look at that. I like that gold type, whatever that is. I thought it was gold foil. That's why I touched it, but it's not. It's, it, but it looks really nice. Love it, love it, love it. Love these cards. Okay, what number is that? Four. I love spending time with y'all. Okay, she has quotes. Okay, so every every card has a quote. Thoughts lead to feelings. Fe feelings lead to actions. Action leads to results. Okay, T. Harv Ecker. All right. Our thoughts are the first thing that leads to where we are today. Awareness is the first step to changing the outcome that follows our thoughts. Where do our thoughts come from and are they facts or just our own version of the truth? Do your thoughts support your desires, your goals? If not, can you search for proof to disprove your thoughts and help you form a new, ooh, thoughts and beliefs? See, <laughs> confirmation. 
you have the power to create new thoughts and beliefs that would then lead to you taking desired action or being in a desired state of mind. Love, 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 love. I am a believer that changing your thought process, and this is not, she's not saying the same thing that I, uh, my ideology, which what she said is amazing. Um, my ideology is if you think it, you can manifest it. So what is it that you're thinking? Because the universe don't care what you're thinking. The universe will just bring that to you. So you want to say your life is fucked up? Oh, okay, bring you a fucked up life. You want to say no one loves you? Oh, okay, you think no one loves you? Oh, okay, then you're going to continue to get loveless people. So you go on the other side of the thought is my ideology and I am loved by everyone I come into contact with. My life is amazing those are two how you get on the other side of that thought i don't care how fast and, and i say do it fast because the moment it comes up in your mind you can go on the other side of that thought i keep trying to put this book down but i got another card i trust my intuition and the number on that is 15. Oh, okay. I'm going to show you the card. I love the artist. I love her. Oh, this is my deck. I'm in love. I'm in love. So that's kind of how I act when I'm in love. But anyway, um, I trust my intuition. Let's read it. I'm going to sit that there. If anybody got their hair, those colors. No, I'm just <laughs> But if you do, for real, comment. We are all born with, with our higher self, which our spirit, with our, which our spirit self that is always aware and has all the answers. She is there to guide and protect us. And we call, we can all learn to hear her. She comes through in many different ways. Some can hear her guidance during journal, others through meditation. Sometimes you might hear sign you might hear signs, see patterns repeating, or can just it can just be a feeling. Many people ignore her, but if you learn to acknowledge her and open yourself to listen through practice, you will receive her guidance too. I love that. I love that. I love her. The Deja Druids. Okay. Oh. So the reason why I'm sure, and I, I I would have to read more of her, um, that she said we're we're born with a um a higher self. Of course everyone is. And when she uses the word her it's because divine feminine is intuition. Divine masculine, of which both genders have. Um, so understand both genders have divine feminine and masculine. And the divine feminine is the intuition and the masculine is the physical. So that's another reason why you may be feeling tired or drained because the masculine energy, the masculine energy in all of us is tired. It's tired of moving and putting hands on and fiddling around and working and it's tired. It's, it wants a break. So that's why I say tap into your feminine energy and masculine energy is working really hard to get to the goal is is logic what is logical okay well the the divine feminine is is not logical it's intuitive if that makes sense okay um all right and now i'm gonna go to the um the tarot cards that came out look at that 
That's the thought process. That's the thought process. This is you have yourself bind with your thoughts. So, get out of that. Very, very easy to wiggle out of that and understand you, there's a sword behind you. Take that one sword and take off. Let's go. Uh, <clears throat> go for it. So when you get um, the four of pentacles right behind that, that's earth energy with a Virgo season, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, this is a holding on to, ho holding on to something. This, when you get pentacles, that means it's actually going on. It's earth energy. You're holding on to something. You're holding on to a thought process that's not serving you. In this situation, this person is stuck. This person is stuck. Um, so instead of being stuck, sit with, sit with that, that energy, see what it is that's, that's sticking you, get your thought process together and allow things to come in, re, uh, release yourself because that's a lot of times what we do. We, we're trapping ourselves. We're holding ourselves back in. It, it it can be out of fear. It can be out of fear of not having enough, fear of not um, being able to get over the hump, fear of um, a person not being there, a fear of losing something, losing someone, losing the battle. No, we want to... Um, you, you, with God's spirit source, there's no way that you can lose. There's no way that you can lose. And so both of these cards says, I'm stuck. Well, okay, well, I'll tell you this. Work with spirit. This is the earth energy. Work with spirit. Because if you feel alone, if you feel like it's not working... God will send in, God's spirit source, the divine will send in the people you need. Will give you the divine connections. That's earth energy. Put your, put your mind on that. My people will come in if they're not there. If the wrong people are there, get them out. These, these people they, on this card is the visionary and the monk. So that's... There was a glitch. Try again in a few seconds. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Spirit. Are you hear that? Okay. Now, it's a whole sentence you got to say for that thing to come on. So, I did not say the sentence. Anyway, work with Spirit. So, visionary and monk means visionary and... You know, the belief system. So, the pinnacles are right there. Spirit is right there. And this is, like I said, earth energy. You can have that. God, spirit, source will work with you. All right. Um, Y'all know I'm about to see what... I'm going to sit these right here because they are cute or whatever. And I'm about to sit those right there. And I want to know what the deck wants to tell you. What do you want to tell Libra? This is double deck. This is double deck. Double deck has double arcana and double aces. All right. We got the four of wands at the bottom. Of the deck. Yep. This is union. If if you're not in union with a person right now, this is you coming together with spirit, heart, and mind. You see the two? Heart and mind coming together. Card of celebration. Everything is working out for it's good when you get this card. Okay. 
okay? You keep getting these thinking cards. And this is of the heart space. This is feeling. This is what looking at the um, glass half empty instead of realizing you only need one cup to fill. That person is looking at three but has a total of five. Not paying attention to what you actually have. When you focus on what you don't have, you can't manifest. You have to focus on what you have as a blessing and then understand the energies right now is dreams are reality energy. So you have to dream. It is here. It's here. I don't have to worry about what's not here. It is here. You just have to put your mind on what's here as in be be grateful for what's there and then project by dreaming, meditating. And if you don't already have what you're meditating about, allow the visions to come in, allow the downloads to come in. Because this person is meditating on the bullshit. Meditating on what's fucked up. And we think we can't meditate. People say, I can't meditate, but then they think about some bullshit all day. That's what you was doing. You were meditating. You were ruminating. You were playing it over and over again. And your mind is like a projector. Whatever it is that you're thinking is what you're going to get in life. Oh. I love when stuff like this come out. I love when stuff like this come out. This is abracadabra. This is so comfortable with spirits sitting there on the throne. I already know, like, yeah, whatever I say, I get. Whatever I think of, I get. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. Thank you, um, Double Deck. Now, you know, for those of you who do not know, this is the Baby Boss Deck, okay? Baby Boss Deck is spoiled, for one. And I, and I accept that. You know how you, it's like your first baby, you know, your first child, and it's spoiled, and and you just accept it because it's it's your first. This is not my first deck, but I have connected with this deck. So, oh, this is my baby. Okay, so it's spoiled, and it likes to be talked to while pulling. You know, while, sh while shaking, that's what I call this. When I do that, that's a shake. While I'm shaking, it likes to get talked to. So sometimes I might talk as I'm shuffling, but not with, with him. Yeah, it's a boy. Okay, come on, baby boss. Deck. Tell Libra what Libra needs to know. Give me one message, clear message. Uh, baby boss dick I love you <sighs> that's a gift from the universe that's a gift the six of cups Six of Cups and the Tarot is a gift. Let me, I want to show you. I want to show you because this, I love this deck, by the way. I love this deck. I love the deck because of the back. It's, it looks like snake skin to me. Yeah. And the images are amazing. This is, okay. So t t intuitively, I, when I look at this card, I get that the tree, but then understanding what is down there, how long it's been growing is still going to create new on if you ever seen a tree like this an evergreen sprout new green tips and i say that because i have an evergreen and it's um it's not this kind of tree it's a bonsai and um in the spring when it sprouts new tips i'm like i've had that thing for three years in this little bitty pot and i never think it's doing anything but in the spring it gets those green tips so it's like understand what's working under the surface like 
you know, what's going on, what the universe is bringing to you if you put your mind on it. And this is a gift. Oh, man. I, 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 I feel my heart chakra. Okay, I'm going to show you um the... It should be right. Oh, yep. Yeah. The Six of Cups in the, in the right away. This is a gift from God, Spirit, Source, the Divine. So, yeah, thank you, baby boss. Tech. You did a good job. And, oh, it's a victory. It is a victory. All right. I was I was mad, so I guess I got to... Mm. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you took anything from the um from the message, go ahead and like the video. If you would like to donate to the channel, there is I will add places to go in the description box. Um, but you you were you were sent here to live the life that you want to live and to be able to manifest anything that you want. That is the big secret that nobody wants you to know. Your brain is the superpower. Your brain is the conductor, is the conduit to get what it is that you want. So work your magic, baby. Work your magic. Libra, I decided to talk to Libra because Libra is going to take the information. I could talk to the collective like this. I could tell the collective the secrets. But, you no, know, Libra is going to take this information and help somebody else. That's why. Not just because I'm a Libra, because I am Libra. And heavy, heavy. I'm talking about all up and throughout that thing. Birth chart on off the off the meter. Yeah. My birth chart do not play. And my father was a Libra. God rest his soul. And my mother was an is an Aquarius. Two air signs. Crazy. 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 And my rising. I will I refuse to tell y'all my rising. That's why I'm so aggressive. But anyway. Alright, I love y'all. And um, you know what? I got up here early so I can get up here later. And that's when I guess I'm going to talk more shit. But I was feeling, man, this this message right here was just, it was everything. All right. I'll be back.